Hi there, this is Juan Carlos Gonzalez, Microsoft 365 MVP. Welcome to a new video about governance features in Microsoft Synthesis SharePoint Advanced Management or governance features in SharePoint Premium. As you can see here, still in the documentation is reflected Microsoft Synthesis, something that is not totally expected. But the goal of today's videos is to explain you another way we have to restrict access to SharePoint sites by means of conditional access at the site level. So in order to uh, get knowledge about how this works, I'd recommend you to go to the official Microsoft documentation around SharePoint Advanced Management. And then, as you can see here, we have like a, a dedicated page for every governance feature available in SharePoint Advanced Management. And today, we are interested in talking about conditional access policies for same point sites and OneDrive. So if you click in this section, you immediately are going to see different requirements you have in order to have this working. Depending on the way you are going to use uh, conditional access policies at the site level and OneDrive for business site, the requirements are going to be different. So if you are going to use, as I will demonstrate today, authentic crypto contest, then you only need to have Microsoft Synthesis SharePoint Advanced Management licenses. But if you want to use this authentication contest together with um, E5 labels, then you need a Microsoft E5 licensing in place. That's not, that's not something I'm going to demonstrate today. So you can see here in the documentation some limitations. Um, particularly, you will be very interested on reading how setting up an authentication contest. And this is what I'm going to demonstrate you today. So first things first. The first thing we have to do is just to access the Microsoft Enter ID Admin Center and then go to the um, protection section here and click on conditional access. Once you are there, since we are talking about conditional access policies and authentication context, first thing you need to do is to create the authentication context you need for setting up your conditional access policies. I already have one I'm going to use uh for this video so as you can see here i have some getting started information but i'm more interested in the authentication contest tab and i have here one that i'm particularly using for the today's demo modern workplace conference paris 2024 indeed i created this authentication contest for um, the demo i did in this conference so an authentication contest is something very easy to understand. You can click on that. And as you can see here, it's just a pair of name and description. I'm going to close this panel and creating a new one is also very straightforward. It's just providing a name, providing a description, and then choosing an ID. OK, that's something new. So far, you were limited to create up uh, to 25 authenticated contests. But as you can see here, we can create up to 99. Thank you, Microsoft. So I'm not going to create a new one. And once you have your authentication contest created, what you have to do is just to go to policies and create your conditional access policy. I already have one. So I'm going to show you how it's defined. So it's just a name. And then for demonstration purposes, I have indicated that uh, this policy is going to affect a specific user in my tenant, Jose Gonzalez, as you can see here. And then you have to go to the target resources. And here is where the magic happens, because you have to select, mm, basically, if you are targeting a group of apps, could be Microsoft 365, user actions, or authentication contest. That's my case. And then choose which specific authentic authentication contest you want to use. You can choose more than once, as you can see here, more than one, as you can see here. So in my case, I choose Modern WordPress Conference Paris. You may also define conditions. This is particularly useful if you have Microsoft Enter ID Prime 2. That's not my case. And then access controls. In this case, for demonstration purposes, what I'm going to do is just to block access to the sites in my SharePoint online tenancy where I have, a, sorry, where I'm using this authentication contest defined. And also, of course, the conditional access granular, the granular conditional access policy. So, if 
this policy is well configured and it's working, that means that on any site I apply the, the this conditional access policy, Jose Gonzalez is not going to be able to access that particular site, even if he is an admin, an owner, a member, or just a visitor of the site. Let's take a look. So in my case, I have applied this policy, and I will show you now how do you apply conditional access policies at the site level to this particular team site. That means that this is going to work also for mm, the team site of the themes. That means that if there is a team that is linked to this uh, team site, in this case, the users affected by the conditional access policy are not going to be able, be able to access either to the files area in the teams. I'm not going to demonstrate that, but just for your information. As you can see here, I don't have any other restriction applied to this particular site. So, for instance, I'm not using RSC controls, restricted site access. Um, that's the meaning of RSC. And just using the conditional access policy I have applied to this particular site. If I click on membership, you can see here that Juan Carlos is the owner. Alex and Juan Carlos are both members. And I have uh, Jose as visitor. So in theory, Jose could visit the site, but he's not going to be able to do that. Why? Because I apply, I have applied the conditional access policy I just uh, explained to you to this site. How did I do that? By using PowerShell. That's the only possibility we have for now. Maybe at some point, Microsoft is going to provide also options through the user interface in the main center. But for now, we only have PowerShell configuration of conditional access policies for SharePoint sites and OneDrive. So as you can see in here, it's very easy. First of all, you need to um, to get your the site you are going to configure. In this case, is this site. I have just, so, uh, just shown to you. And then by using the command let set SPO site uh, with the conditional access policy parameter and then authentication contest option and then you need to provide the authentication contest name. Here is the authentication content name, the ones I saw to you uh, some minutes ago. And then you execute this and you are ready to go. If you want to remove a specific authentication contest from the site, just execute this commandlet. Basically is the conditional access policy parameter with the allow full access value. In my case, I have already executed this sentence. So that means that if I go to a session I have with a Jose Gonzalez logged in Microsoft 365, and if I try to access this particular site, you are going to see he's not going to be able to access. Boom. So as you can see, it's working pretty, pretty well. And even though if I try to see what's happening in Teams, let me see if indeed I have no, I, I'm not going to demonstrate Teams because he's not a member of the team. So basically, this is the way how it works. So as you can see, Jose, even he's a visitor in the site, he's not going to be able to access the site because a conditional access policy configuring the site is preventing him to access the site. So this is an alternative to the restricted access controls uh, policy we have also in SharePoint Advanced Management, our part of SharePoint Premium. And this is really, really useful. And it's also something that uh, can be helpful in order to help you on the deployment of Copilot for Microsoft 365. And that's all. I hope you have found this video useful as usual. I hope you start thinking on how SharePoint Advanced Management can uh, benefit your organization um, don't hesitate to try it you can enable a trial in your tenancy you can try, uh, try the add-on for one month and then extend another month just in order to test all the good governance features we have in there that remember are really really useful on your journey to copilot for microsoft 365 as i say thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos coming around SharePoint Premium, Governance Features, and some other features we have in the product. Bye-bye.